Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to take you through a little bit of my debt snowball and where I'm at with that. I've seen these videos a lot on YouTube and I think that they're really interesting. So if you're interested in seeing my debt snowball and how I'm planning to take care of that, then just keep watching. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe down below. We we talk about all things wellness on our channel from finances, relationship, lifestyle, health and wellness, and just how we try to keep a healthy relationship moving forward. So make sure that you subscribe down below if you haven't already, and now let's jump into the debt snowball. Also, can we talk about this Harry Potter shirt I'm wearing? So today I'm going to take you through my little debt snowball area of my budget, and then I'll show you a few other things that I use daily for me. So to start out, I have these five debts. So first one being a personal loan. This is kind of a accumulation of like, what are those called? Um, <clears throat> the, like what you have to pay when you move into an apartment, down payment, whatever, you know what I mean? So that's accumulation of that. It's accumulation of some credit card debt I had in my early 20s and just a whole bunch of stuff like that. So right now, this is the debt that I'm trying to take care of. So currently it is at $3,593.98. I put about $2,000 toward this loan last month, so it's down from where it was. My budgeted payment for it is $200 a month, but um, I put a little bit extra toward it this month. This month, if you watched my March video, budget video, <clears throat> I'll link it down below, but they, it was like a really tight month for me, so I didn't have much to put toward it. This is $38 that I had left over from my cash envelopes. So from there, my second largest debt is my Discover credit card, kind of the grossest debt to me. These other debts after this kind of like, it sounds weird, but they make a little bit more sense to me, whereas this was just stupidity. So this debt is at $10,596.55. That um, interest rate will be going up in August, and I don't obviously think that I'll be able to have this paid off by August, so I am thinking of doing a balance transfer. I'm not sure that that's part of Dave Ramsey's system, but I don't want to be paying interest on this loan. So currently my monthly payment is $217, which is what I put toward it last month. The next debt that I have is my car loan. I have a slightly used uh, Chevy Trax. I love it, actually. Ben and I use it for um, driving when we're going out to the suburbs when we need like a reliable car. We also has, have his car, which we use downtown. Chicago, but we might be getting rid of that. That's a whole other story though. But currently my payment is $300 a month. I have about $13,704.61 left on that debt. However, I did just make this payment the other day, so it'll be a little bit less. My next two loans are my student loans. So my first student loan is all of my, the four years of federal loans that I got from the government. So these are all kind of combined into one. It is a $165.26 payment every month and the loan is at $17,880.38. And then my Mohela, Mohila, I have no idea how to say it, student loan, I got it through Sophie, Sophie. Um, I had to consolidate all of my student loans a few years ago because I was through like Sally Mae Navient and it was unreal. I was going to have to pay like $800 a month just for that loan and that was before I was making as much money as I am. I wouldn't be able to do that payment now, let alone when I was making $38,000 a year. So with that, $319.24 is my payment every month. This is my largest loan at $36. $36,619.79. So my total balance is $82,395.31. That is just my debt snowball. 
Ben and I have not combined finances yet, so right now we're kind of just working off of our own things. Right now I'm the only one sharing. Um, eventually we may combine and let you guys know how that goes, but for now, this is my debt. I pay about $1,200 a month in debt, which sucks. It's about 28% of my budget, which also sucks, but I know that in the next few years, I'll have this all paid off and it'll feel wonderful. So I have this page and then I also have my little debt snowball page, which kind of has all of my debts. So um, I had like very small debts. I had one card that had $38 on it when I started. I had another card that had $20. My Target card had $254. So that was something in January that I just paid those all off just to get rid of them. And then I owed my sister a lot of hundreds of dollars from my bachelorette party which I was not anticipating that big of a spend so thankfully she was able to let me like space out my payments to her so I paid her off last month my last $93 payment so now as you can see these are all the debts that I showed you before um, I just have them over here too just to have them a little bit separated <clears throat> I don't know that I'll always keep this but I kind of liked it so that's my debt snowball, but then I have this cool little sheet that I made that's hanging on my whiteboard along with my uh, vision board. So by the way, if you ever want me to do a video on how I made my vision board in Canva, let me know. But it's just this little cute little, um, I already screwed up the colors. Artwork is not my forte, okay? so. This is just how I keep track of the debts that I have, how much I've paid each month, and then like when I finally pay one off and I can like take it down. So um, in January, I just made like typical payments on my debts. Um, I actually made a little bit higher on my Discover card in January. In February, I put $2,000 toward my um, capital loan, my personal loan, which is because of my tax return, $189 toward my Discover card. I put $300 toward my car, $165.26, $319.24, and then total last month, I put almost $3,000 toward my debt, which is really exciting. This month is going to be a little bit closer to this number just because I was only able to make minimum payments on all of this stuff. So... Yeah, but it's still kind of a cool way to like keep track of everything this way. And so I can see it. I like to write things down. Um, again, I'm not super, like I see people that draw those like cool mason jars that this is how much debt I paid off and it's really awesome. But I'm just like artwork is not my, my place of business. So this is kind of just a quick way that I put that together and then I just, keep it tacked up there and I switch it out every month. So yeah, that's my debt story. My personal loan, my credit card, my car loan, and then my two student loans are where I'm at right now. It's not a ton of debts, but like meaning the number of them, I've seen people that have like a lot more, but they're much smaller amounts. Mine are like five debts, but they're all pretty high. Like all but one is over $10,000. So that's where I'm at right now. That's why I'm working through my debt like everyone else. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, leave a comment down below letting me know which part you enjoyed most, which video you'd like to see next about our debt journey, and subscribe if you haven't already. And there's a very loud, loud car going by. Chicago is not conducive to filming or doing podcasts, which are the two things that I do. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.